All right. I thought I'd have another go at uh, some orchid seed. The uh, first few attempts I had were not quite so successful. I think the sterilisation um, was a little bit too long and we had nothing grow at all. Um, not even any contamination, so that was probably a good sign. But what I've done now is... Um, all right, so yeah, um, we've got some orchid seed in plant preservative mixture sterilization solution um, that solution is two mils of plant preservative mixture with 50 mils of media um, there is instructions on how to make this sterilization solution up on one of the other videos but basically like I said it's two mils of um, plant preservative mixture added to 50 mils of um, your media now the media is before you add anything so apart from the MS salt so it's basically water and MS salt so no sugar no agar no gel right anything like that um, and that's a pretty good sterilization solution um, that I've found so I'm going to try it on these orchids, on these orchids. so these um, orchid seeds have been in here for about um, three to four hours now um, I'm just going to filter them out and uh, try that see how they go now because they're such a small um, see what I do to filter these out is um, this is basically a circle cut out of a coffee filter paper um, for the right size that I need um, and I make a little funnel out of it um, to catch the seed so all we do is continually fold it don't have to be uh, too particular about this fold it up and we undo it But any anything like this will work, and then we make a little cone out of it. So what I've got sitting here is a tiny little plastic funnel, and I sit the filter paper in there. Hopefully it stays in there, and I'll sterilise it. So to sterilise that before I use it is just giving it a good soak with the alcohol. Give it a good soak, let it dry out a little bit, and then give it another go. Um, we'll come back to that. Alright, we're ready to go. Uh, a bit of coffee filter is dried out after being um, soaked in alcohol. Um, now it's just a simple matter of getting the seed out of here into that filter. Um, the easiest way is a syringe, I find. Um, you can pour it in, but it seems to go everywhere if you do that. Um, Really do is get a sterilised. I've pre-sterilised this syringe too, by the way. Um, suck up the seed and just slowly add it to the filter paper. If you squirt it in too quick, it tends to um, creep up the sides, and then you have seed everywhere. Not that it really matters, but I like to be able to keep it in the bottom of the filter paper, just for ease of uh, transferring it into the culture vessels. So. Can take it a little bit of time. Um, just do it nice and slowly. Eventually get there. Um, once I've uh, most of the seed in there, I'll rinse this container out again. As you'll see, um, you can't get all that seed out the first go. So I just give it a good rinse and then might be able to get a few more seed as well. Alright. So what I mean by that is all I do is take this filtered sterilization solution and pour it back in. And we grab a few more seeds in. We shake it around. Going to all this trouble to sterilize it, so you may as well get as much as you can. What I tend to do too is once I've um, sucked all this seed up, I'll get a bit of the fluid from the bottom of this jar and try and wash the uh, filter paper 
down so a lot more seed gathers in the bottom it tends to creep up the sides a little bit especially where you fold it do is just suck up a little bit of this if I can without spilling it and um, you see a lot of the seed in there what I'll try and do is wash it right down to the bottom so it just aids in uh, when you're trying to remove it into a culture vessel uh, just carefully wash it down and uh, you can see that's trapped in the folds and up a bit high most of it. Now just let that drain for a while. Um, well, vessels as per usual drain out any condensation in the container. It's pretty important when you're doing this with the orchid seed because the seed is so small if there's too much surface water in here it can cause the seed to float around um, in the vessel and really don't want that so if we can we'll get out as uh, much of that water as possible. Now what I'm going to do is scoop this seed out and place it into the culture vessel. Hopefully we can do this reasonably easy. It does take a bit of doing. So if I open up this field of paper carefully you'll see all the seed there. I said we've washed it down so it's um, gathered in the bottom there and it makes it a little bit easier to scoop up. So this is just a stainless steel rod with a flat end on it um, that has been scoop up. And we just simply place it into the container and spread it out. You don't want it all blobbed up in too much. Otherwise when it starts to grow and you want to divide it, um, it can be quite a problem. We'll just uh, continue on scooping up some of the seed. tricky but you don't have to get it all as I'll show you in a second what I do with the remainder. So I'll spend a little bit of time spreading it out. I'll spend that time now it'll make it quite easier. Well, that's hoping that they grow um, quite easier down the track to divide up and transfer into containers again. hard to see. I've spread most of it around but it's still a little clumped up but we'll deal with that later on. Now with the remainder of uh, the seed as you can see there's still a lot, quite a lot of seed stuck to this filter paper. Um, the easiest way to deal with that is on a container of course. Drain the uh, water out the first one. I think we've got most of it out. Alright, simple matter of taking the whole filter paper and plunk it down in the container, roughly in the middle there. Just make sure it lays down fairly flat. 
Uh, saves a lot of time and effort. And there we go. Hopefully that grows. And we get some uh, little orchid plants happening soon. Alright, um, we've got our vessel sealed up here. Almost. Just uh, give them a couple of laps around with the sealing film. Make sure everything is nice and airtight in there. I've done a fair few of these, um, given different soak, soak times in the plant preservative mixture to see what uh, the best sterilisation time is for these um, and hopefully we get some good results and I'll post up a couple of videos on that later on down the track.